Well, just sum up your emotions after after that and the the element and, and the manner of the performance today. Um, very disappointing. Uh, you know, at half time going up one nil, in particular played too bad first half without creating or any threat going forward, but frustrating them a little bit, they get the goal. And second half, uh, it's, it's difficult to, to really, you know, come and, and speak and say too much other than, you know, it, it's not acceptable to keep losing the way that we are. How do you, in circumstances like this, begin to have more of a an impact in games like this? Um, individually, and collectively, you know, it's you know it's easy to stand and, and say, you know, we stick together through the hard times. It's easy to say that, but now we've got to show it. You know, we've got to really dig in, have a look in the mirror, have a look at ourselves individually because it's not good enough. You know, personally, individually, collectively, you know, the getting beat every week's not nice, and you know we need to do something about it because it's, as I say, it's not acceptable, and it starts with with each individual looking at themselves and asking what we can do better and, and work harder and you know we've, we've got to find a way to be to be harder to play against because as a team as a group you know we're not doing enough to stop the opposition and, and that's the disappointing thing give us a, a sense of what the mood is like in that dressing room right now uh, angry disappointed just as you'd expect um, I don't really you know, the dressing room is the dressing room. What happens in there stays in there. And we know, as I said, we, we know it's not good enough and we, we've got to do something about it. Because there will be a lot of people who will say to you, yes, but it's Arsenal. But clearly then you as a group of players don't really feel that way then given the run of form that you're on. No, I mean, every team, we, we can't get a result. Um, we've had one point all season. I've come close a couple of times, but... You know, let's be honest. It's it's not been good enough. The level of performance hasn't been good enough. The competitiveness hasn't been good enough for us as a group. We pride ourselves on that, and we've got to find a way to to come up with something. Because, as I said, we you know it's it's not easy standing here and trying to give you answers. To be honest, and I don't want to. As I said personally, we've we, we've all got to do more, and we know that. And I don't want to speak on on anybody else's behalf or what anybody else can do, and somebody should do this or that. We've got to look at ourselves and look in the mirror and you know find some answers. The fixture list suggests that there are easier games than Arsenal away on the horizon. Do they become vital to the season and your hopes of trying to stay up this year? Yeah, but every team in the league's very good. Um, you know we're not we've got, we can't take anybody and think this is an easier game than any game because every game's very hard and, and every squad. You know, you, you see today the, the players that they left out and the players that come in. There's a difference in levels. You know, we, we understand that, but there's no reason for us not to to compete, to tackle, to win tackles and be aggressive and the way the way we did it before. Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean, before we start talking about other teams, we, we need to worry about ourselves and we need to, to find that edge and that aggressiveness that we, that we need to play with. Prior to the game today, there were reports about the manager's future. Do you guys still want Paul Heckingbottom to be the manager? Yeah, I mean, 100% we do. Um, he's not going out there and playing. It's us. It's on us. It's, it's, not on, it's not on the manager. The manager's done, since he come into the job full time, he's done an incredible job. You know, the circumstances last season to get us promoted after everything that was going on in the background. You know, and he's working as hard as he can and... To be honest, the the level of blame's got to be put to us as players. We're not doing our job out there. We're losing every week. The manager's not playing. The staff aren't playing. It's the players that are playing. So, you know, the, that's us as players. You know, we it's not up to us. It's not our decision. But you know, we, we, there's nobody not playing for the manager and, and hoping the manager gets out. That's not the case at all. We we want him as manager and we respect and appreciate how hard he's working and it's on us as players to, to turn it around.